Good evening again, Mal Walden in the 10 Newsroom. The Urban Land Authority of Victoria says the election campaign has made intending home and land buyers adopt a wait-and-see attitude regarding interest rates and election promises. The authority today held ballots of housing blocks at Croydon and St Albans, which produced unexpected poor results. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Bob Hawke and Opposition Leader Andrew Peacock hit the campaign trail in earnest, with Mr Hawke visiting northern Queensland, while Mr Peacock attended a shadow ministry meeting here in Melbourne. A break-in of the offices of the Special Prosecutor for the Fitzgerald Inquiry in Queensland has forced the Chief Commissioner of Police to order an urgent investigation. Commissioner Noel Newman says it's a matter of great concern if the report is true. And the Homicide Squad detectives are investigating the discovery of a woman's body in thick scrubland in Endeavour Hills and late this afternoon are treating it as murder. And finally, the forecast tomorrow, a fine, mild and mostly sunny day with a light afternoon breeze. Our expected top, 23 degrees. Good night. Penny, tomorrow you and I are going condom shopping. As lawyers, they're good. Uh, Pentrex condoms, there's no price. As friends, they're great. I did it, Victor. L.A. Law, back in a brand new series, Tuesday, 8.30 on 10. This is 10 TV Australia, Melbourne. This program is proudly brought to you by Cathay Pacific. The airline for the new world of international travellers. Good evening. Welcome to the Gold News of Hollywood. And tonight, of course, is the first of a special season of films directed by Alfred Hitchcock, which means in the season there'll be such exciting films as Notorious, Rebecca, Spellbound, and that wonderful but underrated masterpiece, Marnie. Wonderful treasures for you as our first movie on Saturday nights. And then, of course, tonight we follow our Alfred Hitchcock film, The Birds, with another remarkable film, George Powell's production of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. Now, The War of the Worlds is not on by chance tonight. It's actually the first of a series of movies on Saturday nights, which we're calling Academy Award winners. Every Saturday night, after our Hitchcock film, and sometimes including our Hitchcock film, we will have a film that has been honoured with an Academy Award for some special category. And tonight, the film is The War of the Worlds. So we're launching not one but two special seasons tonight on the Golden News of Hollywood. And then, also, we have a third movie. Sometimes it'll be a movie of contrast, sometimes it'll be a movie of the same genre. And tonight, a very special movie, Robert, Robert Flory's remarkable movie, The Supernatural, The Beast with Five Fingers. It's a terrific film with a great score by Max Steiner, and I'll have more to say about that later tonight. But there's something else that I've got to tell you. A few weeks ago, on the night of the Firefly, which so many of you adored and they won't forget, I had a competition for a copy of my record, Song of Love. Thank you for the enthusiasm in your letters and in your entries. There were so many, it took ages for them to be sorted. Now, finally, we have the results of that competition. And if you hope that you're one of the winners of a copy of my record of Song of Love, then you will find your name, hopefully, at the end of the War of the Worlds tonight. So at the end of the War of the Worlds, I announce the winners of the competition for this CBS release, Bill Collins' Song of Love, which is something I'm sure you'll enjoy. Well, enough talk, how about a little action? Let's think of the birds. Here's a wonderful publicity shot of Alfred Hitchcock. I love it. It's quite a famous shot, actually. And what a devilish idea for Hitchcock to make the birds. Actually, he was partly inspired by two things. One, that he did have the rights to the birds, but hadn't been able to use it. I think he originally thought of putting it on television. But secondly, in April 1960, 
Prior to going to Europe and Asia to attend the premieres of Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock read a newspaper item. In La Jolla, California, and this is quite true, one quiet spring evening, over 1,000 birds, listen to this, over 1,000 birds descended through a family's chimney. They destroyed most of the household goods. They injured terribly the housewife when some birds were actually caught in her hair. Imagine that. In 1961, there was another story about birds in, San, in it's the same Santa Cruz newspaper, where windows were shattered, street lamps were broken, cars were damaged, and pedestrians injured. So it's not entirely fiction, you know. And Daphne de Maurier herself, in the addition of her macabre stories that we, you saw right at the beginning of the program tonight, also acknowledges that she was inspired by fact to write her story. This was the third film Hitchcock made from a work by Daphne de Maurier. The other two, of course, were Jamaica Inn, not available to television, but on video cassette these days. The second one, of course, the brilliant Rebecca, which will be part of our special Hitchcock season. Now, the designer of this product, production was Robert Boyle, and his inspiration from the very beginning was a painting. Just check this painting out, will you, by Edvard Munch. It's called The Screen. And Robert Boyle said, the sense of bleakness and madness in a kind of wilderness expresses an inner state. It was just what Alfred Hitchcock wanted me to have. He insisted on a subjective approach so that the audience would emotionally share in the character's feelings as well as their fears of physical danger. You know, I'm thinking of that situation in life where you make plans for the future, you make plans for today, tonight, tomorrow, what you're going to do all day Sunday, and something can happen. It could be rain, it could be something to do with a car, it can affect you dramatically, sometimes not only for a day, but forever. And that's the kind of situation that Alfred Hitchcock plays on in The Birds. Evan Hunter, who wrote the script, Ray Bradbury wanted to, but he was too busy writing scripts for Alfred Hitchcock Presents. This is what Evan Hunter, also known as Ed, Ed McBain, said. I think Hitch is putting the world on when he pretends there's anything meaningful about The Birds. We were trying to scare the hell out of people, that's all. Well, I think there's more to it. Seek and ye shall find what else there is in The Birds. Now, here are the principles in the cast. First of all, Rod Taylor in one of his first important parts. But even perhaps more significant for Hitchcock was the fact that he had a discovery to put in the film, and that's Tippi Hedren. Tippi Hedren thought that when she signed up with Hitchcock, she'd get work in TV programs. She didn't realise she'd be plunged into a film which led her to a state of nervous collapse. This moment from the film is absolutely terrifying, and it's real. I can't give you details because I don't want to spoil Hitchcock's magic. And then, of course, once again, back to Rod Taylor. For Rod Taylor, it was a fairly gruelling experience and an interesting part psychologically for reasons, once again, that I'm not going to divulge. I'd like you to experience the surprises as Hitchcock would have you experience them. And now, third and fourth, we have Suzanne Plachette. I like her. Interesting character. And the little girl is Veronica Cartwright, who had one of her great moments of all time in Ridley Scott's brilliant film, Alien. And finally, it's most appropriate at this time that I should focus attention on Jessica Tandy. She plays Rod Taylor's mother. Jessica Tandy, of course, at the moment is much in the news for her brilliant performance in a new film directed by an Australian, Bruce Beresford, the film Driving Miss Daisy, in which she co-stars with Morgan Fried Freeman and Dan Aykroyd. Jessica Tandy is wonderful. Observe her, get to know her better, and always look out for her in any movies I present on this program or any movies in the cinema. The Birds. You can make of it what you will. It's anything you want it to be. I'm sure some of you will be frightened out of your wits, but some of you will also find a lot to think about. Whichever, I hope you enjoy The Birds.
with birds is that you never know what they're going to do next. I mean, it's bad enough for a pet dog or a pet cat with willpower of their own, minds of their own. But with birds, you never quite know. And sometimes they get quite defined. Have you ever had cockatoos on your property or uh, in trees around your house? You go out, you shoo them away, and they just look at you as if you're not there. They please themselves. Let me quote Daphne de Moray in the foreword to this book, written in 1987. A great many people have seen the Hitchcock film of the birds based on my story of the same name, though, of course, the setting's been changed to America and the narrative has been altered. The idea for the story was born on my daily walks along the Cornish cliffs. I would see the farmer ploughing his fields, his tractor followed by flocks of gulls screaming and crying. As they dived for worms and inst insects, I thought, supposing they stopped being interested in worms. Hmm, what next? Have you noticed a little point? I'll read this out rather than just confuse myself as well as you. The bird attacks in this film seem to be a symbolic manifestation of human relations and how fragile those relations are. The point is made that every scene where people talk or are obviously thinking about being abandoned or being alone, immediately following there's an attack by the birds. People feel so insecure for so many reasons. I'm sure you appreciate that technically the birds is an absolute masterpiece. Federico Fellini thought it was the greatest film that Hitchcock ever made, and he thought it was one of the greatest films he'd ever seen. I'd love to read or hear what Fellini really had to say about the birds. That could be very interesting. Have you read the story by Daphne de Maurier? You really should, you know. May I remind you that later tonight, after the birds, to start our Academy Award winners series, we have the film of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. One of the best of all the science fiction thrillers of the 50s, and it still looks good, it still is persuasive, it still is credible. It's a wonderful movie, and it won an Academy Award for its special effects, which are outstanding. And after that tonight, The Beast with Five Fingers. It is an amazing film, The Beast with Five Fingers. So, much more to come tonight. But right now, let's get our attention on the birds. And may you have your wits once again somewhat startled by the remarkable ingenuity of a great team working under the supervision of Alfred Hitchcock. We'll be back to the birds very shortly.